must have been a lot for you to take in at once, but I need you to be clear on who you are and what you need to do. A lot has changed since you were here last. It isn't going to be as easy this time, and last time it killed you. If you only think you're ready, then you're not the same cocky bastard that I used to work with. Just make sure you do the job right this time. You can't count on having a third life. And it'd be a shame to lose the man you've become. Ha! Huh. I have more important things to do than love. And so do you. But I do trust you with the fate of my world. It may not set your heart a flutter to hear it, but it'll have to do. Lead on. I'm right behind you. You don't understand, do you? The power of Jedi. Yes! Return to your grave!
If Gadflow isn't here, then he must be hiding further underground, someplace closer to the source of the Prismere. Definitely. The war's not over yet. Whatever bargain Gadflow made with Tiernok, it's about to pay off. When that happens, the world will not be spared her wrath. She's imprisoned deep in the Amethyn, but Gadflow's war has weakened her bonds. There's no time to spare. If she gets free, our world is lost. We're close. Let's go. Tiernok is held captive deep in the Amethyn, but her prison is weakening by the moment. Tiernok's eyes upon us. it against you. Perhaps it is not inaccurate to think of her as a god. We cannot let Gadflow free Ternok. the power to stop her. Who's this? 
What does she mean by that? Only you have the power to reseal Tiernok inside the Amethyn. I must keep the secret of her existence from the world. Once Tiernok is pushed back into her prison, these caverns must be sealed. But that leaves one question. Can I trust you to keep Tiernok's secret? That is excellent. After all that you've done, it would have been a shame for you to die a second time. If you do escape, I will be watching you. And know this, anyone who learns the truth of what happens here, I will silence myself. Go. Stop Tiernak from fully entering this world. But remember, my blades will always be at your back. Nothing in the world is fated to stop Tiernak. That's why you're the only one who has a chance. I'm just here to make sure you take it. This way. There's no turning back now. Amethyn lies beyond. This is where the dragon will breach the veil. Come forward, mortals. Behold the birth of Tiernach. Attend your final hour. My fate does not lie beyond those doors. You alone may change what is to come. Go! Welcome back, mortal. How does it feel, I wonder, to return to this place? Does the pain of your death still linger? <laughs> Can you feel it echo through the air? <sighs> and now, in this place, you shall witness the birth of Tiernach, the destruction of the Alpha, and the dawn of the endless winter. Comes. Tiernach the powerful, Tiernach the merciful, Kuala Fela Tiernach. I done well, lady. Are you pleased? Is it did I you have I, served your purpose? But I I have so much more to give. Ah! Ah! 
And now, Faithless One, you shall serve your
could we have known that this would be a new beginning? I wonder now if we should have foreseen this outcome, but who knew then what fate would bring? I would have liked to have delivered this message in person, to see you one final time. That, however, would have been complicated. The order to which I belong had other plans. Were you ever to leave the Crystalline Fortress? When it comes to you, though, it seems no fate is written in stone. It was only through my assurances that your silence could be counted upon, that either one of us still draws breath. I trust you will not make of me a liar. Were stories of what we have seen to begin to surface in the inns and taverns of Amalur, I would be asked to seek you out. And as we both know, the next time you die, there will be no return. But let us not speak of this. Your life is your own. Go now, and see what fate may bring you, or what fate you may bring. Perhaps one day in happier times, you and I will meet again. Until that day, I remain. Yours, Aelin Shea.